Doctor can get an off on Sunday or Saturday. Um, IT guy can get us off on a Diwali or a 31st December on a Holi. You are not going to get that. So that is the only thing which differentiate from the hard work they are doing and the hard work you are doing. You're watching Hustle Stories with Ambika Anand. My guest today is superstar chef Manish Mehrotra. He is the culinary director at Indian Accent. Chef, what does the term hustler mean to you? Juggling so many things together and um, make sure everybody at their place working properly. <laughs> Tell me about your family's passion for food and how did you start out in the hospitality world? My journey, I it's funny that I belong to a completely vegetarian household. Um, my father, my grandmother, all, all of them, they never used to eat even onion garlic. We used to have a gas range, different gas ranges for onion and non-onion thing and uh, no non-vegetarian in house. Eggs, we used to eat it on terrace in a separate uh, plates and uh, bowls. So strict vegetarian household but nobody stopped us from eating outside and that vegetarian household helped me that um, without too many ingredients you can make tasty food. Right. So it all started there. Family was a business family but uh, I said I'm not Your going father to had petrol, pumps, petrol right? pump. So I said I'm not going to run a petrol pump. Hotel management was in fashion at that time because everybody was doing hotel management. Never that great on, in studies, so but so that is why I joined hotel management. And there I thought that kitchen was the most interesting part and most um, innovative. So then I decided I'll go in kitchen. Did you always know you wanted to do this? Take us through your origin story. Most of the chefs you will ask, they said they are inspired by their grandmother or they used to help their mother or parents used to work, they used to cook for their siblings and all. Nothing of that sort happened with me. <laughs> we used to live in a joint family. So all the festivals, all the special occasions were at home. It was not that kind of a restaurant culture too much. Um, so everything was cooked at home only. So yes, food was there and um, going to a hotel school was a, like a career decision. By, if you are not doing your father's business, you have to do something. So that is why I joined hotel management. And then what was your first job after hotel management? First job was Thai Pavilion in Mumbai. And that I still feel it's the best Thai restaurant in the country. It is still the best Thai restaurant in the country, I would say. And suddenly going there and working with the greats like Chef Ananda Solomon and all, who were like an industry veteran, um, it was a great opportunity, I would say. I've learned a lot, worked really, very hard. What did you think were your biggest learnings, which you didn't learn at management school, but you learned it from them? See, honestly speaking, hotel management school, you don't learn anything. You don't learn anything. You just learn that India is a big country. There are food from different parts and you learn how to identify ingredients. That's it. And a basic, basic techniques of cooking. Boy. Everything else you go and when you start working in a hotel, then you start learning and then sharpening the skills there. First 15 days in the kitchen, I was just standing on a sink, washing woks. That's it. With a steel wool, which will cut your hand, but quickly, quickly. And Thai Pavilion used to be a really busy restaurant. So it was fun. It was tough, but it's good. What is your attitude and appetite towards risk? and take us a time when you took a risk and it did pay off. See, when you, when, you are in a, when you are running a restaurant where you constantly have to innovate, there is no reference point in our history of a modern Indian food or dish like this. So you have to innovate, you have to invent a dish again and again. Because whenever you do a tasting menu, it runs for three months. After three months, you need a new tasting menu. So again, new 
10 dishes you need. So you have to keep on innovating. And if you don't take risk, if you don't take risk, then it will, it will not be successful. Like when we were planning for Bombay, uh, Indian accent, we were planning for a tasting menu. And I put first thing which comes on a table, a few snack, I put karela in one of the things. And everyone said, Karela, like first thing comes on the table and that is Karela, it should, you should not do that. Karela is Karela. Then I said, no, we should. And, and at this point of time, we just changed the menu, but we didn't change that particular dish because it became so popular. Yeah, I've had it. It's the actually really karela. good. It's amazing. The ka karela. Yeah. So, so that's the risk you are taking. Like our blue cheese naan, that was a risk. Because in the beginning, people used to put it in their mouth and spit it. <laughs> what is this? Pura mu kharaab kar diya in the beginning of our meal and all that. Now it is one such thing we cannot remove from the, our, our menu because people want it. So, so it's, it's, it was a risk and it worked. Now you've been with uh, Old World Hospitality, which is a parent company for Indian Ikka, Accent yeah. for so long. Uh, in your career, did you ever take a risk of like leaving a job and joining them or any other? through your uh, career path after Thai Pavilion? See, after Thai Pavilion, I took a big risk that <laughs> I didn't have a job and I came to Delhi that I have, I left my job in Thai Pavilion. I came back to Delhi. I applied in few hotels and I got rejected by few hotels. How many places rejected you? Th two, three places, three places, big hotels. And um, then I joined this. India Habitat Center, which used to run by Old World Hospitality, their Oriental Octopus Restaurant. And uh, October 10th, I finished 23 years with this company. Oh my God. That's a long time. <laughs> How did you feel when you didn't get a job with the three major hotels? Definitely, you feel disappointed, but that time you are young, you, sh you, you go and try. You can try at different places. But definitely, now I think they regret. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they do. The restaurant business is so hard. Apparently, only 7% of all restaurants succeed. Uh, what kind of a person, according to you, can thrive in hospitality? People who can create a beautiful experience for someone, they can be successful. And your likes and dislikes, you have to keep it on a back burner and perform and work towards guest experience and their likes and dislikes. So what was your journey even from Indian, from when you started at Oriental Octopus? So how was your journey from so there? Oriental Octopus, Pan-Asian food, first Pan-Asian restaurant of Delhi. So you made the menu and you were the I did chef. the menu, okay. I was the chef there. And uh, there I've learned a lot because my boss Rohit, he gave me a lot of opportunity. Company sent me to different places to train, Thailand, China, Korea, uh, Singapore, Malaysia, all these places I went to train and western part of the uh, world, London, all these places I went and we trained, G got an opportunity to train at different, different places and uh, complete full hand, whatever you want to do, however you want to, so big support. And then went to London with the company, worked there, then came back. Started an Indian accent at a place which nobody knew exist in this city. And uh, Roit Khattar took a big risk at that time. Uh, opening a new restaurant, new concept with a chef who was trained in a different cuisine altogether. So definitely he took a risk, he took a gamble and um, in the beginning um, it was empty restaurant. Nobody used to come and people used to walk out of after reading the menu. Like, oh, this is not Indian khana, where is biryani, where is sikh kebab and all these things. So, but he supported me and he, both of us, we stick to our guns that we will not dilute it. And the risk worked and here we are. For how long were people not... almost two years. Two years? Two years. Really? A long time. 
two years a long time. So was it like loss making for two years? Oh wow! Big loss making at the. So then, how did you all uh, kind of tide through those two years, and then what changed after two years? So after two years, people really started. The people word of mouth and people. Um, really started liking and understanding what we were doing, and in two years we also learned a lot. What did you change? Uh, we we didn't start serving butter chicken, uh -huh. but the thing is, yes, I also learned a lot of things how Indians eat Indian food. Um, we have to make the dishes in such a way which we can share. Even a plated food they want to share, so we have to make the dishes in such a way that you can't give whole lobster in a plate. Which people can't share, so all these learnings really help us. That uh, there should be some kind of a even modern dish, but some kind of a comfort element, something uh, familiarity has to be there. So all the dishes were look-wise, it was completely modern. Combination-wise, it was completely modern, but taste-wise and comfort-wise. Totally familiar. So that was the whole idea of Indian accent. Tell us about a challenging time. Of course, COVID did affect uh, dining out, but any other hardships you'd like to talk about? COVID time was very difficult for everyone, and I think apart from difficult time, it taught us a lot of things that you have to keep your team together and the most important thing which before covid we never used to pay attention was our kitchen our, our staff not only kitchen our staff's mental health that emotions can really play i always used to feed if you are not happy you are not going to get cook good food so emotion also plays a very important part um, in your work and if you're team is emotionally strong, they will perform better. So you have to make sure the environment is such that your team is emotionally strong, always motivated. And next day when they're coming for work, they should look forward to it. What advice do you have for people starting out? Advice for people who are starting out, I would say, like every industry, it is a tough industry. And only thing is like every place else, you need to focus. It's a difficult thing. It takes a little time because it's it's really physical skill which is also required, physical work which is required. So first five years, just focus and give five years to this industry. If you properly give five years to this industry, this industry is going to pay you back many folds. That sounds promising again. <laughs> oh. What's cooking in the future for you? You've had Indian accent, so many of them. Now, what's the future? We have just started Indian accent Mumbai. Now we are uh, at the moment like which two months. Now we are working on opening Comrin and taking Comrin also different parts of the country and the world. So we are working on that. So let's see whenever it happens, we'll definitely tell everyone. Amazing. Thank you for your time, Thank Chef. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And thank you for watching.